Hello everyone. Do you know what your problem is? You base living for Jesus Christ based upon what you see others do. Others who claim to be of Jesus Christ. So if you see many of them behave in a hypocritical way, like for instance, you know that they should not cheat, steal, cuss, and other stuff, but you see some do it. So you think inside of your head, living for Jesus Christ is a game. It is not real because you see hypocritical people calling themselves Christian. Or you may run into real Christians you may see the mistakes of them. Because of their mistakes, you may say living for Jesus Christ is not like a, a real thing or, you know, what is the whole point to even doing it if people who claim to live for Jesus Christ make mistakes. That is your problem you are looking at too many people. What you should be looking at is God, per se. Look at the Bible and go by its teachings, the teachings that apply to us. If you see people who claim to be Christian and they are doing so much dirt, it really has nothing to do with you. Yes, you can pray for them. Yes, you can fast for them. But it has nothing really to do with your salvation. I really hope this makes sense. Just because most people you see are hypocrites, liars, cheaters, scammers, or whatever else, does that mean living for Jesus Christ is a waste of time? Does it mean you should not do it? That is so silly to think in that way. Let's say I am the biggest hypocrite, Christian, hypocritical Christian in the whole world, which I am not. Even if I am that, does that mean you should stop living for Jesus Christ? Does that mean you should not devote yourself to God? Really think about this. Stop looking at so many Christians. Look at yourself and what you need to do to become better in Jesus Christ. When you stand before God, you are going to be judged, I believe, based upon what you have done not based upon what Susie has done, not based upon what Johnny has done, not based upon what Bishop Billy has done. No, what you have done. Even if there is so many Christians falling away from God, don't be the one to do the same. Don't be the one to follow the crowd and say, well, since everyone else is doing bad as a Christian, I might as well do bad as a Christian as well. That is folly. That is not wise. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Take your eyes off that pastor, off that bishop, off that whatever. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. You don't need to live for Jesus Christ through another person. Meaning if that other person isn't living for Jesus Christ, then you don't have enough encouragement or enough uh, willpower to live for Jesus Christ for yourself. You need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ for yourself. Are there hypocritical Christians? Yes. Are there Christians that are 
rebelling against God? I believe so. Are there Christians that fell away from God? I guess if you rebel against God, I guess you aren't really a Christian. No matter what you hear, no matter what you see, never stop living for Jesus Christ. Don't become discouraged in living for Jesus Christ. Let me stop here. May God bless us.